Hello, Notre Dame, and welcome. From all around the world, all around the country, we come here to the University of Notre Dame. Despite all of our differences, geographic, religious, familial, political, or otherwise, we unite as one school, one community, under one dome. Here at the University of Notre Dame, we live together, learn together, play together, and pray together. Each one of us is a member of the same community, and because of this, it is essential that we learn from each other, respect each other, and above all, be informed. For these reasons, One Dome was created. One Dome is an NDTV production created by Notre Dame students like me who are dedicated to building a more lively, more understanding, more interesting, and more fun community for all of us to live in and enjoy. I'm your host, Anthony Rio, and One Dome starts now. Hello, Notre Dame. For the thousands of students, staff, and visitors at the Student news. Center, with student work on display that not only pleases You the aren't going to want to miss this. You've got to be kidding me. No, it's too cold. Oh, we're on air? Let's get right to business. Our first story of the night is breaking news, courtesy of University President John Jenkins. In an email sent to students Sunday afternoon, Father Jenkins announced that woven material will soon shield from view Luigi Gregori's 19th century murals that currently adorn the walls of the main building. These murals, which follow the life and journey of Christopher Columbus, have been the subject of controversy in recent years because, as Jenkins wrote, they present us with several narratives not easily reconciled. This is sort of reinforces what people of my generation were told about Columbus as opposed to maybe a little bit more truthfulness that we have learned nowadays. This announcement comes after much controversy and slightly over two years following Scholastic Magazine's publication of two opposing articles on the issue by Ellie Burke and Charlie Kenny. In Jenkins' email to students, he addressed conflicting perspectives on the issue by explaining, the mural's depiction of Columbus as beneficent explorer and friend of the native peoples hides from view the darker side of the story, a side we must acknowledge. We wish to preserve artistic works originally intended to celebrate immigrant Catholics who were marginalized at the time in society but do so in a way that avoids unintentionally marginalizing others. Actually, I was in Professor Kathleen Cummings' uh, Sanctity and Society class last semester, and we spent some time looking at the murals. It was interesting to look at his story, and um, especially to see the way that the Native people are portrayed. I think what it may lose in color, it would gain in um, historical integrity. After years of discussion on the topic, Jenkins' announcement outlines a decisive course of action on behalf of the university. This announcement from Jenkins came as a kickoff to Walk the Walk Week here on campus. Sunday night, students gathered in the rotunda of the main building for a candlelight prayer service in remembrance of Dr. Martin Luther King, Jr. Then, in recognition of Martin Luther King Jr. Day, the university offered community building lunches in the dining halls and celebrated its fourth annual MLK celebration luncheon titled A Call to Love, Bridging the Racial Divide. And just hours ago, the drama web series Domus premiered season two, episode three in Montgomery Auditorium. I am currently joined on set with masterminds of this new season, Darrell Jackson Jr. and Aaron Williams. How are you doing, guys? I'm great. Good. How are you? I'm doing very well. Uh, I have a couple of questions for you, but first, how about um, you tell us a little bit about Domish? What is it? Uh, what does it mean to you? Um, for us, uh, what Domish is a web series, the drama web series uh, produced by college kids such as ourselves that uh, we have a high interest in film and television, and so um, for us it was about taking the passions of uh, minority experiences that are on campus that happen here at Notre Dame and uh, producing them in the best way um, for people to see. Um, we wanted to make an impact and we put our passion and our hearts um, in these stories and 
It shows. <laughs> so this show is put on by college students. You don't get like a professional camera crew, for instance, to come <laughs> and call you guys. We and, wish. Uh, right. <laughs> I'm gonna definitely wish, but no. Um, Darrell and I from months ago, before the semester even started, we we're sitting down writing and uh, planning the series for the year, uh, the new season. We kicked it off. We did a little something different than the last uh, season of Domish. So. Yeah, it's just us writing, producing, uh, directing. We have help, thankfully. Um, we have, you know, like production managers and people who help with acting. Um, but yeah, it's just us and some college kids, the rest of the college kids. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So, what does it mean, uh, especially um, with this being a show tailored around minority interests, for your show to be one of like the big events in Walk the Walk Week? I'm very excited that because Domish is some something we want to use to um, produce conversation within the communities, especially uh, with the ma majority who might not be able to have these conversations often. It's very important to us to have that exposure to people who may not have seen Domish or may not have heard about it, um, that they could uh, be in the conversation with us. So it was great to have that exposure this week, and it's, it was really important for us. Yeah, because there was a panel after the show. We did. Yeah, that was very interesting. I attended, very informative and like a big learning experience. Right, uh, we're glad. That's exactly what we want to happen. Awesome. So uh, if we have some viewers who want to catch up on the show, uh, where can they find you? How can I watch uh, season two of Dome? Right, does, uh, <laughs> does, let's go on the internet <laughs> and I'll go straight to YouTube. And Google Domish uh, in the search bar, and you'll see um, episodes from season one to season two. Um, currently, me and Aaron actually started season two, so um, it's two different types of formats, and so you can see all our episodes there. We have our promos and our trailers there, so mm -hmm. uh, please follow along, follow the show, because um, you'll love the stories. Yeah. You'll love the stories, <laughs> you, and you will, you'll love and hate some people, too. Mm -hmm. So yeah. um, mm -hmm. Follow us on Instagram um, as well, Domish, and Snapchat. Domish. Yeah, I can attest to it too. This is a good show put on by uh, very talented people, and uh, I think these guys are going to end up somewhere. Someday. Thank you. Appreciate Thanks, it. Thanks, Thank Thanks, Aaron. You're welcome. Uh, and as Walk the Walk Week continues, uh, students are invited to art exhibits in the Snipe Museum and the Duncan Student Center, discussions on integrity, athletics, and education, the Unity Summit, and Mass for Peace and Unity, and more. There's a ton of stuff out there for students to take advantage of during Walk the Walk week on campus. For full details, go to diversity.nd.edu slash walk the walk. Notre Dame students returned to campus this past week for a new semester of classes and waiting to greet them were new displays of student artwork in the Duncan Student Center. Anthony Rhea reports. New year, new look for the Duncan Student Center. For the thousands of students, staff, and visitors who will walk through this building in 2019, there are freshly painted walls and new student artwork here to greet them. We caught up with some students and the artists of this piece to get their take. So my name is Jalil Blanchard. Uh, I go by Leo. This is, is a huge surprise for me to finally be able to have my art shown in this kind of light. It's beautiful. I actually know the artist who did this painting. Very lovely. You know, it's kind of pleasant to see it. Each semester, a collaboration between the art department and the student center puts student work on display that not only pleases the eye, but invites students to appreciate art and question their perspectives. My mom used to read me the story about King Midas, the king who used to touch things and whatever he touched turned into gold. And my, one of my uh, favorite other mediums besides oil paint to use is uh, gold leaf. And I like to think that everything I, everything I like to paint gets a little gold leaf, and I call it King Midas. I'm not quite sure what it's exactly trying to say or if it's trying to say anything. Also, during Walk the Walk week on campus, artwork featuring themes of inclusion and diversity are on prominent display, and all are welcome for self-guided tours at the Duncan Student Center. Um, I think it's like the first time it's ever been used for Walk the Walk. so. I just, it's amazing to have this kind of opportunity. Pieces like Leo Blanchard's King Midas will be on display in the Duncan Student Center for at least the rest of the semester. And it's no secret that it's freezing cold outside and kind of an ice rink, um, but that doesn't mean you can't enjoy it, does it? 
we ask students the question that you probably forgot to ask yourself. Excuse me, I have a question. Yeah. Would you say that it's good snowman building weather outside? I would, definitely. The snow was a bit puffy and not great for packing, so I would wait. I would definitely say so. Yeah, I would. And the wind, you, you're really going to have some trouble packing it together and keeping your snowman together because of its looseness. No, it's too cold. Personally, I think I'm with that last guy. It is freezing out there. But we have a bunch of other events going on camp or coming up on campus, so grab your calendar because here are the dates you're going to want to write down. Como Palooza is Wednesday, 7 to 9, in guess where? Como. On the lineup are praise and worship groups and sweet treats, but if you're looking for Lollapalooza, try again in six months or so. Walk the Walk Week continues through Friday with a variety of events on the schedule, including the Mass for Peace and Unity in the Basilica, Thursday at 515. Again, diversity.nd.edu slash walk the walk for more details. The Notre Dame Student Film Festival is this weekend with 7 p.m. showings Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and 3 p.m. showings both Saturday and Sunday. The festival can be viewed in DPAC, and this year marks 30 years of the annual festival. Also this weekend is Welsh Family Hall's Dance Fest. Various student groups and yours truly will be performing in Washington Hall starting at 8 p.m. on Friday and Saturday. Saturday night, all Notre Dame, St. Mary's, and Holy Cross students are invited to get their Gatsby on at the annual Great Gatsby Dance. According to my sources, Leonardo DiCaprio will not be present, but there's always hope. The dance will last from 10 p.m. to 1 a.m. and will be held in the Danke Family Ballroom. From NDTV Studios in the Duncan Student Center, I'm Anthony Rio, and I'm bidding you adieu on our first episode of One Dome.